My dear friends, one time I listened to a priest making this reaction. He said, when it comes to healing the body, we all become improvised doctors or MD, Murag Doctor. If a neighbor complains of a sick rash or a backache or a stiff neck or a stomach pain, what do we usually do? Uh, we, or some of us, spontaneously recommend for the stomach pain the special herbs from our old auntie. And for skin rash, we sometimes would easily offer to prepare a mixture of our grandfather's ointment. For the backache, we describe the exercises that our own doctor taught us when we had our last backache. That's what we do, Murag, doctor. And we feel the urge to help other people with their various ailments. This concern is in itself a good thing. It simply or truly shows our natural compassion. And this time, Jesus is inviting us all. This compassion should extend even more to other people's souls. As disciples of Jesus, we must show the same concern for other people's spiritual diseases and illnesses. Let our hearts be moved with pity for our brothers and sisters. One spiritual advisor pointed out that the spiritual diseases are those which afflict the mind and the heart. For instance, loneliness, bitterness, anguish, fear, desolation in prayer, distrust in God, desire for vengeance, and scrupulous mind. And in this area, even though we might not be the competent or the highly qualified individual to guide and to instruct those who are spiritually sick, we can always at least do something. For instance, encourage a sharing of the problem. Take time to listen sympathically. Give warm support. Recommend a consultation with a more experienced Christian. Or pray for the person in distress. And I see the last line of today's gospel, brothers and sisters, a kind of prayer when Jesus said, Ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. All of these actions are within the possibilities of every disciple of Jesus. So help us, God.